<clears throat> all right what's going on everybody oh i got a good one for you today it's taking me a while to do this but i had some x or not excel spread but i had some notes prior from prior videos and all that good stuff but let's go over what i have invested in my trailer tools all that good stuff not including any labor oh look uh oh anyways let's get into it we've got a lot of stuff to get over uh, price wise so this should be fun all right so disclaimer uh, this is basically insurance wise that keep track of stuff you keep make sure you guys keep track of all your serial numbers in case anything gets stolen you can prove that you owned it and you you know receipts all that good stuff so that's just that's my disclaimer so we're gonna go through I get a bunch of questions about how much money I have invested and everything and uh, so we're gonna kind of go through it and tell you exactly um, almost down to the penny it's not gonna be exact because there, I have a lot of inventory that's you know not even remotely I don't keep track of it because for one I got it for pennies on the dollar and two I don't need to it's not worth my time so <clears throat> we're gonna go through it so first thing I do have notes here but first thing we're gonna go over the trailer um, ladder rack just the trailer itself everything I have into it not including any labor I'm not gonna put any labor into this uh, because that's changes for everybody but just for materials parts materials tools and the trailer itself you guys can see in here uh, we got everything I'm including everything that's in here basically for you know the wood the inverter the battery system the lighting all that kind of stuff you're you're looking at 12 8 77 and some change so <sighs> yeah it's a lot so then that includes um that includes the reason why that went up a little bit from the video i had about last year is the ladder rack so the ladder rack is new and you can see it's new because i just put my ladders up there <laughs> i'm still you know trying to organize them but uh yeah ladder rack is new and that's an additional 900 and some dollars give or take so but we'll get over there anyway so let me get back to my trusty dusty notes here and a lot of this stuff's not glamorous so I, it includes everything buckets trash bins i mean you know pretty much everything clamps all that kind of stuff you know you got to keep track of everything if you want you if you want somebody else to replace it as an insurance is concerned so you got to keep track of it so we'll go through it that was the trailer that's the outfit that's everything uh, so if I emptied all the inventory out of it and all the tools and everything, so anything that's attached to the trailer, that's and not including the DeWalt uh, Tough System, um, that includes the battery bank, the inverter, all that kind of stuff. That's what I, that's what I have into it. So, <sighs> tile saw. I don't have my tile saw out here. It's in, actually in my shed. I'm not going to wheel it out here. But my tile supplies and my tile saw cost six hundred forty-seven dollars and eleven cents. I don't have much tile equipment because I don't do too much tile, but I do have it enough. I knew I can get it done if I need to. Uh, painting that includes my <clears throat> alt Greco ultimate 395 uh, my contractor gun and all my painting supplies which are in here so and it, it rotates you know I don't I don't count really naps those are included in inventory that's ro rotating but all my all my poles all my cleaner all, all that kind of stuff the brushes corner brushes are not cheap so Ooh, we're gonna go ahead and push it back down and let's look at my notes here we have 2906 and 20 pennies for that for my painting hand tools hand tools is that took probably the longest so let's go through hand tools just really quick I what I included was obviously all my hand tools low voltage electrical plumbing and includes pretty much everything I use with my hands. So my veto packs, south wire, tool belt, and then that includes also um, basically, you know, you got your hammers, miscellaneous, all that. Uh, that includes, I mean, everything that I'm using with my hands, uh, you know, your tape measures, knives, cock, um, you know, cock gun, you know, everything. You got your levels. I mean, pretty much everything in there so uh, hand tools you're at forty seven hundred and eighty dollars and thirty four cents 
jigs, bits, blades. That's basically all my, obviously that's exactly what it is. Bits, blades, um, not, they're not hand tools per se. They're obviously, so blades, jigs, that's, I mean, that's like, what, you know, everything you see here, plus there, all that, all that. And I got a drawer down here for jigs as well. You know, poles, you know, your third hand, all that kind of stuff. And we are at uh, $1,887.04 with that. That's give or take, because I'm sure I missed a couple tools or whatnot. I don't have everything, but that's, you know, you can pretty much replace what you need to with that. Uh, ladders, ladders. Let's go up to a ladder here. See if I can get around. So I have a 32 foot Warner fiberglass. Uh, they're all fiberglass. I don't have any aluminum ones, just in case I'm working around electrical. So, but yeah, this is the new, it's the new, but let's get up here. Sorry for the shaky cam, but one handed. All right, so you guys can see Got a 32 foot, 28 foot, 16 foot extension ladder with the leveling system. I have yet to install one of them. I have an eight foot and two six foot and a four foot A-frame. All, all fiberglass and you're at, the price for that was $1,670, not including sales tax, because it's different for everybody. They're not, you know, insurance is not gonna pay for that. But uh, <coughs> that's what I got invested in ladders. So, it's kind of a lot actually, it's kind of more than I thought I was going to have. Milwaukee Tools. And these are not all of them. I do have a, uh, multiple job sites that are uh, taking up all my time right now. But you can see, I've got some of them, you know, they're here. But a couple things, I got like probably four impacts that are missing. I think one agent, my employees got one, I left two on a job site. A couple drills, but what you see here... I mean, it's pretty good, but uh, I have receipts for $9,812 and some change. And you got to keep in mind that's when buying the tools new, like this is like five years old. So obviously you're not going to, I think I bought it for like 350, 400 bucks, but you can find the replacement tool for that for like a hundred bucks now. Cause you know, that's the first generation fuel saw. So you got to keep that in mind. So that's just what I paid. You can probably find it a lot cheaper, but that's what I'm, the money that I've spent. And let's see what else we got here. DeWalt. What do we got? DeWalt is $3,094. And now it may not look like that here, but you got to think. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. So I have all that right there, plus my DeWalt charger down there and this. So I've got really one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 12 of those, plus the rack itself. So I think. Shoot, I probably have seven, eight hundred bucks in that right alone because each of these, it comes with like three, but then each of these are like, tw you know, 20 bucks. So, yeah, so that was surprising as well. I didn't think I had that much in DeWalt. We got, what's next on, uh, we got Makita. There we go, Makita, $4,613. <sighs> I don't have too much Makita, but what I do have is they're expensive. I mean, track saw, vacuum, sanding, batteries, router. 10 inch uh, miter saw with the with the actual station right there so yeah I, I believe it for sure and then the extra 118 inch track so I really like my Makita that's for sure uh, Hitachi $1,600 and 1694 and some change those are just all bad that's, that's all nailers that's all that is right there uh, I do have Ingersoll ran 3 8 impact right there that was 400 the uh, sprayer you got your, well, it's not a spray. It, that's the sprayer, but power washer uh, with the gun with an extra tip. And I believe the the solvent in, and we, you can put detergent in there. $1,948.12 for that. Miscellaneous. Um, that would include trash bins. Uh, I got an additional, um, like a dust wall collection system. Um, really, you know, electrical, you know, electrical tools that are not really considered hand tools. My scaffolding I have, and that would include, um, let's see, I, I think there's a couple other things here, like locks, you know, other things like that. And I, it was like a big long list. Just, oh yeah. And that would include 
um, you know, like I have two sets of these uh, saw horses, one set of those cobalt ones, uh, and it also includes the um, Polk stations I have here, and you're at $842.90. That just, that's just the materials. I'm not including time to build all this stuff or anything like that. So, and inventory, uh, inventory is a tricky one, and that's gonna do, obviously vary for everybody, but I do have receipts for a lot, but you know, not everything. So you guys can see, you know, this is just my plumbing. So I've done a video before, but you got that. You've got electrical. So multiples, everything here. So you get all that. And then I think you got nails for, and it's all considered inventory. So nails. Where else is my other inventory? We got your tape. HDMI's, low voltage, more low voltage. So, I mean, you just got, you got lots here. We got batteries, shims. So this would be under miscellaneous for sure. I think I only have one in there actually for that. Um, you know, miscellaneous. And that also includes everything that's actually in here, which I don't have every, I don't have a running list of everything. For obvious reasons it's just hard to take an account but you got fasteners upon faster you know you got everything in here that you need for pretty much whatever you need right so i think that's it and i believe i'm not if i'm not mistaken fifty eight hundred and forty dollars roughly uh, i knew it was over i knew it was over fifty five hundred but i don't think it's i don't think it's more than sixty two hundred so i'll kind of kind of put it in the center but i keep finding stuff so yeah, that's 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 the gist of it, really. I mean, and then <sighs> consumables. It's hard because you know you got multiple consumables for everything. You know, bandsaw blades. You got you know I got. Oh, I didn't even include that. So that's an extra seven hundred bucks for my sprayer. That's a sprayer that's out for repair. That's my Graco Ultimate MX cordless twenty volt max sprayer. So you can add seven hundred dollars to that. I think I pay. Actually, I only paid. I'll say I only pay like four or four fifty for it. So you can add that too. So I think that's I think that's all we have here, guys. Um and then hand tools down there. Um, you know, you got your pivot ladder tool. I you know this, this is all this is all stuff that I added in there as well. And obviously, you know, code book, you know, electrical hand these are all hand tools. So hand tools, hand tools hand tools clamps i consider those hand tools uh oh me mechanic set there was uh, i'll go up there and see i got mechanic set here can't here i have way more than this in the garage but i don't keep it on the trailer because i'm not fixing cars on the trailer right so there's a couple things a couple points on that i believe that was like 400 bucks or so give or take so i'll take a look at that as well dun, 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 dun. where are we at here Sorry, yeah, sockets impact $431.90. So I think that's about all you guys. It's all I mean, it took a while to get it all out here, and I'll uh you'll see in the thumbnail, pretty good little picture. And uh yeah, we'll get it back in there and locked up. <laughs> so it's I already had one neighbor come by like, oh garage sale. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I think that's all I have for you guys today. I appreciate it. Have a great day. In case you guys are take, keeping track, that's $53,892 and some change. Um, honestly, I thought it was going to be more than that, but um, that's where we're at. That's It's a lot of money, but there's obviously contractors out there that have more invested. And by no means do you need all this to do contracting work. You, you can be you can just get your vehicle, a couple tools, uh, maybe a ladder to get to some place high. That's all you need, really. So, but... You know having the correct tool for the job you know you're more efficient and you can get jobs done quicker plus make more money to buy more tools it's a vicious cycle that's all i got for you guys that's that's the gist of it it's a lot of money but obviously it's you know it costs money to make money and that's pretty much it i uh, do want to reiterate the fact that you don't need all this to be in business you but it you know it makes life a little easier if you have the correct tool like and subscribe we'll see you guys on the next video i appreciate it